Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dilla Legends here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to install shaders just like these so you can have your clouds looking all pretty the water looking so nice and Really everything the shadows water all of it. It looks so good and right now I'm not even using a resource pack. It's just my shaders and wow it's nice so let's get into this tutorial okay so first off what you're going to want to do is minecraft is closed i'm not closing mine for this video because i already have it installed and stuff but i'm going to be going over how i installed it so what you're first going to do is come to this website all the links are in the description by the way um, this website just gives you a bunch of shaders to choose from with their download links. I chose the BSL shader pack for this video and all I did was I clicked this um, link right here and it took me to this site. I just clicked download latest version and it took me to a site like this and then bam it downloaded the shader pack right there. Then what you're going to also have to have is Optifine. So to get Optifine, uh, you would go to this link here. This is what I'm going to have in the description. You get it for whatever version you have. I got it for 1.14.4. So you click download here. It'll take you to an AdFly link. Make sure to wait five seconds for this um, yellow button to pop up because you don't want to get a virus or anything clicking one of these random Roblox links, okay? So click skip ad. It'll take you to uh, a download link right here. And you literally just click that and it'll automatically pop up right there. Boom. Now, what you're going to do is once Optifine is downloaded, uh, which I'm going to have to wait to open it because it's not done yet. But, um gonna open it it's like I just did see see and now all you do is you click install and BAM uh, like I'm not gonna click it because I already have it installed and I don't want a million copies of these because it took me two times to record this video um, but click install it'll th have a thing that says successfully installed and it'll exit out itself and now what you're going to want to do is open up Minecraft because remember you should have had it closed before you installed the Optifine okay make sure you had it closed um, go to installations if if Optifine doesn't automatically show up here you're gonna have to go to installations click new name it whatever you want I'd prefer you call it Optifine so it's easier to find then go over here to versions and choose Optifine then click create and then whenever you come over here click the little arrow choose Optifine boom then you click play now I already have my Minecraft open so what you're going to do is once Optifine is installed whenever you go to your video settings you should have a shaders button you should have quality performance animations you should have a bunch more buttons in your video settings so once you have all that you know that optifine was successfully installed so you would just go to your shaders go uh, and you shouldn't have these two things in here these are shader packs you should just have off and internal go to your shaders folder and this is literally all you do is you get your shader pack and you throw it into your shader packs folder I already did as you can see and boom you're done like it will automatically pop up in here you'll just click it click done boom it'll be downloaded um, now keep in mind that your FPS look at my FPS my frames per second is kind of laggy and that's because the shader packs a little intense on my computer and I have a, a pretty decent computer too uh it, it's okay but it's it's not bad like a laptop or anything which some of y'all might be trying to get shaders on now you're probably going to want to get a less intense shader pack than bsl like on this web here if you go down there's one called lagless shaders uh let me get lagless shaders is really good yeah this one 
you you would want to get lagless shaders because it's it's made for people who want shaders but don't have a really good computer and you don't want lag like you want your game to look good but most of all you do not want lag so this is what you're going to want lagless shaders and if you're still having issues with lag make sure to go to your video settings go to animations and turn off all the animations and that'll really speed up your game also make sure your render distance is low your max frame rate is um, over 60 okay i keep mine at 120 go to quality uh, you're gonna make sure that you you turn off all this bonus stuff It'll make your shaders look less nice, but it'll make your computer faster And that's what matters most go to performance. You're gonna want smooth FPS on that will uh, smooth out everything and Really if you want to explore all throughout the settings, I'm not gonna go all over it uh, Just hover over the button. And it'll tell you exactly what it does. So just keep that in mind but really that's all I have for this video I really hope that it helped y'all and I hope y'all enjoy y'all's new shader packs please leave a like down below I'm not asking for your money I'm only asking for like a millisecond of your time please leave a like if this really did help you it, it helps me out and it helps me know that I'm helping people and it encourages me to make more videos like this so please leave a like and if you really did enjoy this video and you enjoy my channel please subscribe um you're welcome here anyone anyone please uh, yeah that's all for this video uh hope you all have a great day and peace out